We're heading out offshore and we're gonna attack some deep rocks with heavy jigs. This is one of my favorite ways to fish. Let's go out and see what's happening. You can tell by looking at this three quarter ounce Wose jig from Mega Bass that it is absolutely destroyed. Probably 50 plus fish on this jig. It's beat up, hook is still very sharp and it's still putting fish in the boat. And on the 360 here, you can see this giant rock all the way from this line of rocks right here. It's kind of like a ledge. It's a nice flat on one side. And if you go on the other side, it drops off a little deeper. But that whole long transition area, I'm just casting and kind of picking it apart. This three quarter ounce mega bass jig excels at swimming really slow and also at just stopping once in a while and letting it hit the bottom and just rest there, almost dead sticking it. When they hit this jig and spark shed combo, they absolutely just stop it dead in its tracks. That jig and spark shed as a trailer was a match made in heaven. After my jig was on the bottom, I'm just doing a constant retrieve, just fast enough to keep it where I can feel it ticking the rocks just a little bit once in a while. And you can see I'm a constant retrieve and that fish comes up behind it and just smokes it. Man, I love it when those fish come up and wallow right alongside the boat. Look at that one. A three quarter ounce jig, five inch green pumpkin spark shad. Beautiful combination. If you want to put not only numbers, but a lot of big fish in the boat, make sure you try the spark shads out deep on big heavy jigs cover some water and get ready to hang on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Smoke the spark shad. <laughs> 